Hey Virgo, welcome to your January 2022 reading. You'll notice that the background is very different. <laughs> We're all socked in here with snow and ice and I've been inside for like four days. <laughs> and um, so this is uh, where I'm at and this is which, what your view is. It's very loud to shuffle on this table, so I'm doing it on my lap. Um, I just did your reading actually, and it was just so damn weird, uh, basically that I, I'm going to do another reading, but for, I just want to say a note because it kept on popping up in the reading for January. Um, if you guys are going through something where there is, uh, some of you guys are going through a situation where there's, um, one individual who has a lot of sway over a group, um, and there's something a little shady with that individual and it's just kind of coming out in January. The whole month is like all about, and it's a great month for you. It's a great month for you. So if that's the case for some of you guys that that resonates with, um, because I do think that these readings pick up on certain energies. It's just meant to be, you're meant to see it. And um, if the re reading resonates, that's how you know. And because they're general readings, not every reading is for everybody, but I do feel that that reading was for somebody and if that resonates, just know that the that month is going to be the slow reveal that this person is not necessarily, you're not the only one that knows that there's this kind of shadiness. And so maybe the month starts out with you kind of picking up on it, but really not knowing what to do with it, not wanting it to suck you down and affect you and your life or your career. But, um, and you don't really want to be attached to that and, um, or correlated with it. And don't worry, it all works out. It's great. I mean, it's just, you're not the only one that's picking up on it. So now if that does not resonate, don't try to make it fit. Just throw it out there. All right. So we're going to do a play by play week by week, um, of what is to be expected in January. Uh, please, if this resonates, please hit the like button makes a huge difference. In fact, go ahead and hit it right now. And if you don't like this reading, you can always take it back. How about that? But it's as a thank you. It's karmic. You know, if you're getting something from any of these readings, you guys, it's a great way of just sending that energy right back into the universe. All right. So first week of January, 2022 for my Virgos. What do the cards have to say? What's coming at you? Yep. You're getting the three of cups. You're getting hermit energy. Three of Cups. Boom. First week of January 2022. We got some flippers. Ten of Swords is out. Anything else? Four of Cups. All right. Ten of Swords is an ending. All right. So just walking through here, we've got the Hermit card that's ruled by Virgo energy. This is kind of this individual is, you know, walking through the darkest part of the night and the lantern is, you know, symbolically, the lantern is shedding light, allowing them to see the path. When they really have that lantern inside, right? They, they are alone and they're separating themselves from the noise of the outside world in order to really feel their own instincts to feel their own intuition. It's a good energy. It's a quiet energy. It's contemplative and it's reaching down for a deeper truth. It's an authentic, it's, it's got integrity attached to it. All right, one more card for the first week of January, 2022. That one just floated out gracefully. So, you know, even if there, even if there's um, a hard ending somewhere in this, in this week, there is this beautiful glimmer of hope and something special. There's like something meant to be about it. Um, so worry not. Three of, what is this? Three of cups. Okay. We kept on getting six. Now, if we keep on getting six of cups, three of cups, three of pentacles, you know, then it's basically going to be an identical reading. A lot of eights as well. The strength, the eight of cups. Um... Reunions, friends. The, yep, here's our three of pentacles. All right. So this is work partners for some of you guys. This is friends. This is um, getting along. Like this is um, possibly old work comrades um, going out. Maybe time went on on New Year's. This is, 
you know, there's a nostalgia attached to this. This is like it's attached to some playful memories. We've got the King of Pentacles here. Why are we getting the King of Pentacles? I'm going to use this card to clarify. I don't know why I want to, but I'm going to. Nothing in tarot has to make sense. Just going by the feel of it. This could be a boss. Ten of Pentacles is very, very much somebody who is um, uh, in charge of their own finances, in charge of others' finances. They do well. They've got money. They're analytical. They're not emotional. That's why it can rule the world of business and careers because it's black and white. I'm getting Page of Swords. There's ones, a lot of interesting cards. I always watch the behavior of the cards because they say a lot. Um, I do feel that this um, individual has something to say that um, might be mm -mm, too many. I think that there's um, a sense of like, there's an opportunity for improvement here. And um, wanting, there's very much this yearning, this wanting to um, fit in, be accepted, be admired in this group. And um, yeah, you're getting an opportunity to step up. All right, clarity on this 10 of swords, please. This ending. What do we need to know about this ending? For Virgos. All right. Conflict, competition, movement forward. This happens quick. Um, things happen because they need to happen sometimes. This is in regards to, we got the, the King of Cups. Looking out in the sun. This actually happens for your own good. It's it's actually whatever it is. It could be more somebody else's ending. Somebody had to leave. Somebody had to, you know. This is um, competition. I think that some of you guys are actually in a group, almost knowing that there's an opportunity, like trying to impress the boss or trying to impress somebody here, and. Um, Somebody loses out and somebody gains, but either way, this works out for you in the best way. Um, this could be at least at first disappointing, but actually there's a, there's a turnaround. It works out better for you. Um, four of Cups. Why are we getting Four of Cups? Yep. There's a... I think that this surprises you something here. Um... An offer gets rejected, but, and it kind of is a surprise. I don't know why I'm taking that, but I need to take it. It leaves you looking, thinking, um, maybe a little overwhelmed. But it's all going to be okay. You know, like you've got that sun card shining through. Yeah, I think that it's like you, this is an opportunity to step up in a very new way. This is an opportunity to, um, to eventually you'll look back at this and you will be grateful because it did shake you up. Yes, it, it shakes you up, but it was, it needs to end. You need to move on. There's something else calling you and you knew it the whole time, but there's something better. There's something else. And I'm going to actually take it from this other deck, this clarity of the page of this magic card. The page of cups is something magical, something that's calling you. Yep. And there you go. Fool. The new, this is a new journey. Starting over. Ace of cups. Beautiful. If you let it, this is going to lead you on a very ten of pentacles, a very new path. Ten of Pentacles, this was a, somewhat of an illusion. Whatever this was that you had an ending over that you or that you had a little disappointment over, 
this uh, and this shakeup, this was actually not built on stable ground anyway. Your future was not built on stable ground, but this is. Whatever you're going towards, you know, we don't get the tower for nothing. Sometimes these shakeups, actually all the time, these shakeups happen because we were meant to change very quickly, change our route. We're going the wrong direction. And sometimes the universe just steps in, call it anything you want. God, Jesus, spirit, universe, but it steps in and it takes our train right off the tracks and puts us on a whole nother set of tracks. So that's what this is. And then immediately something magical comes through. This is a lot more up your alley and it's an opportunity to step up. So what is our, I'm going to shuffle this on my, my lap. Um, what's our advice from Tarot for the first week of January? 2022 for my Virgos, for my sweet Virgos. What is their advice? Flying out, Ace of Cups. Yep, we have it right here. Right here, Ace of Cups. Go towards this, believe in it. Have faith in it, you guys. I know that it's a shakeup. I know it's a rattle, but it's really good. This is really good. So your initial reaction, I don't think it's gonna, King of Pentacles, we're getting the King of Pentacles back again. There's something better for you here. Hermit energy. So we're getting a lot of doubles. Okay. You're being recognized. You don't have to be anybody but who you are. I think that, you know, it's like this is a great time to pull in your resources, save your strength. You know, the direction forward is going to be very, very, it's going to get more and more clear. You're getting this offer. You're going to be very busy. Um, and I think that you're going to be, where's our, what are, what's our four of? Lots of pinnacles. You're getting a new offer very quickly, I think, you guys. Um, have faith. There's possibly even a new um, relationship, work partnership that's coming through. This feels like very much a, like new boss energy. Um, King of Pentacles is an investor, a boss, a, um, this would be even you, um, being your, like looking at things very cold and, and I don't mean that in a bad way, but analytically, this is very much feels kind of around self-value, self-worth, time, energy spent. This is work. This is monetary, fiscally, um, responsible. And why are we getting the two of swords? Uh-huh. We've got the th our three of cups coming up again. This is an influential group. This is, um, you're ending a project. You're ending a stage with this group of people that has been kind. I think that you've had indecision, a sense of indecision or a cloudiness, like um, a fear to commit. Uh, a fear of commitment is, is with this group. I think that you're going to, when this ends, it ends quick and it's going to be, a, there's going to be a little bit of a relief attached to it. I don't think this was a group that you totally related to anyway. This could be work partners. This could be a group of friends that you, but there's also a third party energy to it. Like three is a crowd. So um, when it happens, when it ends, allow it to end quickly, you guys, because uh, there's a natural flow to this. There's a hard stop. Um, realize that, you know, that cloudiness, that overwhelmness with this work group was giving you a stuck feeling. It was making you stuck. And this was, you're having eight, eight, again, eight, 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 eight of swords came out with a three of pentacles. What did I say? This is a very similar reading to your last reading. The message is supposed to come through for, I don't know who, but whoever's watching this, I hope that you are, I hope that you're getting something from it because you, something stepped in, fate stepped in and it's releasing you from a being stuck within this group. Okay. And, um, have faith. The cards are saying, have faith in this new beginning. Big time. First week of January is not a small week. You're kicking off this year in a really powerful way. You know, don't be afraid. Don't hold off what is inevitable. Don't hold off your, and this is why hermit energy, you're being called to pay attention. Get deeper, get grounded with that Virgo energy. Um, 
and know that there's something better waiting for you. All right, second week of January, 2022. I'm gonna give this a shuffle. While I do this, if this is resonating, please hit that like button. It makes a huge difference. Give back. And um, uh, if this feels like yours, claim it. Shit, claim the reading. And um, let it go if it doesn't. Don't try to make it fit. All right, so second week of January. Sorry if that was loud. For my dear Virgos, yep. Letting something go leads you to a new opportunity. Money possibly a job, possibly inheritance. I know for just a few of you guys. This is you're on the right path. Now, if there is something legal, if there's a contract attached here, if there's something, if some of you guys are working with the judicial system in some way, it's going to turn out in your fa favor. It's going to be good. Even if it's not exactly what you expected, it's going to be good with a nine of, look how happy he is. It's going to be good. The nine of cups. That's not for the lack of a little anxiety. A lot of nines, but we're moving forward. We had a lot of eights. Now we're moving forward. Second week of January. Clarity on that offer. That ace of pentacles. Six of cups again. And page of pentacles. Okay. One moment. I feel that some of you guys are going to be approached by a family member, somebody that you know, um, and they uh, are going to offer to maybe uh, teach you a new skill or um, hire you. And um, this is an opportunity to, this is a big turning point. This is a judgment call, something attached to this. You're learning something. One sec. Why are we getting this ace of, or this queen of swords? Keep cutting it out. I think this is an individual three of cups. Again, keep on getting that group. I have a feeling that, um, yeah, there's this judgment call. There's this individual here that is, um, the queen of swords is, can have a sharp tongue, you know? They're no bullshit. They call out what they want, what they need, and they are very, very aware of their boundaries. So this is setting, this can be somebody who sets very strong boundaries or the act of setting strong boundaries with a group of people that you're familiar with and offer. This is the judgment call. It's a turning point. And then we have our death card. So the natural ending to something. Ten of Wands. There was an individual here that was very influential that um, I think inspired people with their confidence um, that could be influential by way of their confidence. They could be somewhat of a visionary. They, they liked that kind of power too. Ace of Swords, I like my hands hit the cards and out flew the Ace of Swords and the Ace of Wands. You know, there's a death to this and it's not literal death, you guys. But I think that this came about almost naturally and inevitably because if it had been left up to you, it would you've been waffling. You would have been confused. It was cloudy. You were in a position that made it very difficult for you to, to make that call. But as circumstances have it, there's this natural end of this phase, this natural. And with the death card comes new people, fresh opportunities, fresh relationships. Um, yeah, somebody's being abandoned here. Somebody's being left behind here. All right, but you know, here we have the Nine of Cups, very, very happy. Something, things have turned out. The scales are balanced. Things have turned out for the better. Uh, meant to be. This is a karmic thing. When when justice comes out, it's karmic. Um, I do think that there's definitely a third party, three's a crowd type of energy over this, around this. So um, for some of you guys, it could be a relationship, a third party situation, but um, I think the right thing happens. 
I think that it's not been comfortable because there is conflict attached. Let's get some um, advice from Tarot for the second week of January from my brother. All right. And when the, what you hear in the background, if you can hear that, um, is huge chunks of snow falling off the roof. All right, five of swords. There's conflict here. Wanting to flip over is the ace of cups. You know, if this is third party situation, if this is a relationship for some of you guys, it would very much not be attached to love. <laughs> not at least on your end. You're tired. If there's been conflict, you're tired of it. Tired of the competition. Tired of the conflict. Um, there might be an individual here that you wish you could change, or you wish would change, but instead it's easier to accept that it's just time to end this phase. There's a behavioral pattern that one is working on. It could be a, 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 a pattern um, that doesn't serve them could be a habit, could be an addiction. There might be an addiction attached to it underneath the surface. But I think there's work being put towards it. Work being put possibly to, to change it. I don't know if, I think that there might be support, but it doesn't have to be your support. This is like, you got some boss energy. Going forward, Going forward towards balance, going forward towards appreciation, love, and balance. The lover's card flies out. And in clarity, we have the Hierophant. This is about marriage. Um, possibly for some of you guys, this is about commitments. What are we committing to, Virgo? We're the lovers, two of pentacles. Putting in the work, putting in the work, putting in the work. A different kind of work. Believing that you are going to have happiness. You are going to have balance. And to accept your disappointments. Instead of, like, it's important not to, and to be compassionate towards yourself during it. You know, to take a look at these disappointments if you've had any and take a step back and accept that. And that's by way of doing that, you move on and you're going, you're moving towards balance in, and you're moving towards um, reciprocity in the month of January, second week of January. Interesting. Okay. January. It's almost some similarities between this and Leo's. Okay, so third week of January for you guys. For my Leo's, third week of January. We have a lot of, so January, there's some indecision. There's maybe some busyness, overwhelmed. You, you, some of that is because you're busy. Some of it is because you're a little bit overwhelmed with what's in front of you. But there's a, the strength card that keeps on popping up, you know, 
um, which is beautiful. It's Leo energy, but it's also, um, and the three of cups keeps on popping up, this group. You know, for some of you guys, this is a third party situation. This is like, you know, the feeling that one is, somebody is deciding between you and another. There is that feeling though, I, throughout the whole thing. Even for those of you who uh, this is a career reading for, there's a feeling that you're aware of your competition and you're having that struggle between, um, you know, I can't control the competition, but I can control myself. And um, that struggle of like not trying to be distracted by it, but it's um, that, that toggle between self-confidence and also a sense of like not having control over the decision another makes. There's definitely that energy throughout the whole reading. So let's see where the third week takes us for our Virgos. What about this Ten of Swords? So we got Ten of Swords out. Uh-huh. So there's, there's an ending that was... Um, this turns out really, really well. It turns out better for you, actually. The stability prevails... Um, th there could have been even an event, something that you guys were going to go to and it, plans changed. Um, this could even be plans fell through for an event. But um, this really works actually better because something is, it's like um, there's almost a sense of the world being pulled away from your eyes. And I think in hindsight, you're going to be grateful for this ending, even though it was, it, it's uncomfortable, uh, definitely, you know, and painful even for some of you guys, but this almost, the King of Cups, clarity on our two of pentacles, yeah, there was a shadiness here, yeah, the wool being pulled over one's eyes, and this came up in your first reading quite a bit, and I think there was some denial. The Two of Pentacles feels like denial. But inevitably, it comes to light. Virgo, you're coming back into your reading with a hermit energy acceptance and withdrawal into something, into your integrity, into, into yourself. And coming out with strong, coming out stronger with the strength card. You know, you're tired of the sense of competition. You're tired of this conflict. You're tired of the third party um, um, situation that you've been put in. And you've been, instead of giving up, you have stood by your convictions. You've been, you've remained who you are, not somebody else. You've not changed yourself. You've kept your integrity with who you are. Mm -hmm. The five pentacles, somebody gets left out here. And we have the king of cups here. Clarity on the king of cups. Healing. The king of cups is an individual who is loving, compassionate, mature, emotionally mature, healing attached. We have the six of... We've got the Six of Swords, um, which is leaving choppy waters and going into smooth waters. What is our, what is our advice here from Tarot on the third week, January 2022? Star card, beautiful. It's healing. It's wonderful. It's healing. It's getting your wish. It's here having your prayers heard. It's being seen for who you are, but not just necessarily from those around you, but seeing from up above. Nine of Wands, yes. Like, you're, you're tired. You're tired. I feel like I should take these. Ten of Swords, out with the devil. There is a behavioral pattern here that at, underneath it all, isn't serving somebody and something had to end because it was it was gonna drag drag you down. Mm -hmm. So
So there's something five of pentacles is coming back out too. So you might have a sense of abandonment, abandonment, but, or they, you had to abandon somebody or you felt abandoned by this thing, but there's almost this understanding that it was, an, it was toxic. So Knight of Cups, clear down Knight of Cups. King of Wands. Nine of Pentacles, along with a Strength card. You're, you're independent. You're freeing yourself from this. You're healing. You're going to focus on healing. And um, I think you have support in that. And so it's if the cards are supporting you in that, and it's um, you're allowing yourself to um, think about things, time away to think about things, because what you don't realize you're doing in this amount of time, you think you're just healing, that you're just thinking, that you're just processing, but actually what is happening is that you're getting ready to manifest big time. That's around the corner. And I know that it's a little early to say that. I know that like it feels like, all right, all right. I'm not ready to like, you know, th pull out my wand and start making shit happen. But that's what's happening. It's like we need to go in, touch down in that quiet place, that hermit place inside of ourselves. Take a look at everything, accept it, and then we move on. And that's that six of swords, you know, the choppy, leaving choppy waters into the smooth waters. And then what happens? Well, you've been making a pearl all along, you know, all that agitation or that discomfort. You've been making a pearl. All right. Fourth and final week of January 2022 for my Virgos. Fourth and final week, January 2022. Fourth and final week, January 2022, from my Virgos. All right. Let's see what this week has in store for my Virgos. Fourth and final week, January 2022. Swords, three of wands, king of wands, bear with me, So you're going to be in this place of processing. You're going to be in this place of kind of thinking about everything that's happened and gaining perspective. And while you're doing that, again, we've got the magician card flying out. Things are falling in place that you don't even realize. Things around you are falling in a place that will become clear some of it later and other other aspects of it will always remain a mystery of how it came about and what happened here between two different individuals um one individual being a little more showy than the other one being a little more emotional than the other more emotional and passionate compassionate a little more sensitive you get the justice card, which is everything, the scales do balance. It comes out in your favor because it's always a good sign to get the justice card. It doesn't mean that it it totally solves everything. It doesn't mean that uh, you don't need to process this or anything. But it certainly does solve some problems, you know, some issues. Um, I think that... 
So as I'm saying, as I was saying, you know, you you are getting the, you know, the two of pentacles wanted to flip out there. You know that you've done the right thing, that all along, all along, you have done your very best, and that what you're manifesting, all this has been happening because there's something much better waiting for you, okay? With the Nine of Cups and the Nine of Pentacles, you're leaving something with the Eight of Cups flying out. You're leaving something for greener pastures. At one point, you really threw yourself into it. You, you invested your time and your effort, your energy. But honestly, it's an, it's, it was wearing you out. And you've got something much, much better waiting for you. Now, your tenacity is something to be really admired in all of this, this whole month of January. But, you know, this is transformation in the thick of it. This is in the thick of the transformation. And meanwhile, falling into place are all these pieces that are going to be play a big role in the next chapter of your life. But I understand and I have respect that it doesn't necessarily feel super exciting yet, you know? But that's on its way. So for advice, carry on Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords flies out. Ten of Wands. End of... This was exhausting. And the, the cards are... This was exhausting. It was doomed from the start. You didn't want it in your life. It was toxic. We got the Ten of Swords along with the Ten of Wands along with the Ten of Se or the Seven of Swords. This was shady. It was toxic. End of a long, exhausting chapter. Let let it go. I know it's going to take a second, you guys. I know that you need to do your processing. And while you're doing your processing, magic is happening in the background. All the elements are coming into place for your next chapter. But just know the tarot is saying... You don't deserve that. And it's finally reached a point where universe had to step in and be like, no, you're too good for this. You're the queen of cups. All right. You're, you keep on popping up. I think this is your energy, queen of cups. And it, it hurts. It disappointed you. It's, it's a little too harsh for your blood, man. It's like you didn't deserve that. But... I think that you, you know, you can't change another individual. You can pour, there's a sense of, uh, of two or three people here. You know, you keep on getting three of cups. Three of pentacles came up earlier quite a bit. You know, there's a couple of individuals involved here. Um, you can't change anybody, but you can move forward. You keep on getting those twos, those two of swords. That two of swords. Tell me what that two of swords is, Virgo. This competition, I feel like it, some of you guys waffle back and forth, the, the but what if, you know? Do I do the work? Can I go back to this commitment? Do I do the work? Is there something I could have done? You've got a new offer here. It's going to make that decision really easy. But you need to have faith in it. You need to have faith in it. These are flying. The emperor, this is taking, you're going to have this new offer. It allows you to grab the reins in your own life, but you need to have faith that it's coming. It's going to clarify some things that felt cloudy, competitive, argumentative, uncomfortable before. So, but it really starts with accepting this ending, accepting that it was exhausting you. And even what you didn't know, but you knew that you knew something that you didn't know. It was exhausting you, Virgo. And, it, you know, the disappointment was there even without knowing all the details. You could feel it. And it was this long time in coming. It was like, do you want to draw out the pain? You know, you don't deserve that. So January is all about grabbing, your, grabbing back your power. Um, January is all about accepting what is, accepting that you can't change an individual. There is an individual here that I do feel has been kind of the heart of this reading. 
And um, I do feel that there's others involved, but um, I think that you're taking a stand independently. You know, I think that you are kind of allowing that wool to come off your eyes. And um, I think that it's a very, very empowering month. And I think that you come out really strong. You've got eight all over here. You've got strength and you've got magician. Keep in mind that invisible things are falling in place while you're preoccupied. And I don't mean that disrespectfully, but you're preoccupied healing, processing, moving forward, um, and accepting these magical and in these individual things are falling into place like little pieces to a puzzle all around you. And it's going to start up a very new chapter in your life. The best part of this is that you're going to realize more and more and more as you get through the very beginning of 2022, that you feel lighter and lighter and lighter. And as you feel lighter and lighter, you're gonna start bouncing up and you're gonna have a lot more energy and you're gonna be grateful. I know it's hard to totally wrap our minds around right now, but at some point you're gonna be very grateful that this happened, all right? I love you guys and I look forward to doing your next reading. All the best.